Now, the Ghana Prison Service is collaborating with the International Youth Fellowship to introduce an intensive mindset education program in prisons. The project, which will start from the Insuan prisons, is aimed at transforming the orientation of inmates towards a more sustainable future. General statistics of incarceration around the world showed increase in prisoners committing a crime again. This is largely blamed on lack of employable skills to keep convicts economically viable after regaining their freedom. Other consideration factors include societal neglect, stigma and lack of support for ex-convicts. According to these experts, most former prisoners return to prison because circumstance compels them to go back into crime. However, a former South Korean prisoner and now preacher, Reverend Dr. Kison Kim, insisted the solution lies more in mindset education. The chairman of Police and Correctional Forum, a South Korean charitable organization dedicated to ensuring proper reformation of convicts, says when prisoners understand who they are and where they want to be, they will do what is right. When seed sown in the ground, it will yield and bear fruit. And one of the doors will sit in your heart. The movement started in South Korea and spread across the world, including 50 countries in Africa. The visit to Ghana is to collaborate with the Ghanaian prison authorities for its introduction. Some tertiary institutions, including the University of Development Studies, are also collaborating with their mindset education concept. The Ghana project was possible through effective collaboration with the International Youth Fellowship acting as host. So one by one we are discussing how we can make this uh, a success. Our ultimate aim is all prisons in Ghana, but we're going to start one at a time. Basically, we are going to um, get interested prisoners to start with, and then we are going to have lectures and a series of programs for them. The maiden program will be held in the Sawan Medium Security Prison and spread across all the prison facilities in the country. Participation will, however, be limited to interested inmates. 